primer just outside the eye. You can use any primer you want. And now taking a creamy black pencil, I'm going to take this and we're going to start drawing an S shape just outside the eye, bringing it down following the lash line. Now to sketch out the shape of the butterfly, the first thing you want to do is just sketch out the shape. So just create really light dots so that you have a rough idea of where you want to go with the design. This way if you mess up, you can just take a cotton pad and a little bit of eye makeup remover, remove it and then start again. Once you're sure you've got the exact shape you want, just go over it and draw it with much thicker, firmer lines. On the lower wing, start to take the black eyeliner and start to feather it out by just creating short black strokes and do the same on the upper wing. Then line the entire waterline. Using a black eyeshadow and a nail art brush, I'm going to be taking this and I'm going to start feathering out the black on the lower lid. So just start bringing the black out in small strokes and then line the upper lid as close to the lash line as possible. You can use an eyeliner pencil or an eyeshadow if you want. Now draw in a third section to the upper wing, making sure that the line's really thick and strong. And now with a red dazzle dust and a small concealer brush, I'm going to take this. And starting in the inside, we're going to slowly work our way out. But just make sure that the outer corners are really nicely feathered. We want to leave the outer part of the wing free as well. So once you've blended this, we're going to be taking a lighter pink shade and applying this at the end. Make sure that you blend it well into the red as well. Then with a blue and a small nail art brush, we're going to start on the lower wing bring the colour down but leave the middle of the wing free from colour. Finally with an indigo shade, taking the nail art brush we're going to start at the bottom of the wing and start to bring the colour up. Now I'm going to take the black eyeshadow again with a nail art brush and I'm going to reline the pattern on the wings. I'm doing this because the dazzle dust can sometimes cover it up and I want the black to really stand out as a contrast. Now taking a bronze dazzle dust, I'm going to mix this with water to get a gold liquid and I'm going to fill in this section of the eye. Create a few strokes between the blue and the indigo and then another dot right at the base of the wing. Now using a highlighter, I'm going to apply this outside the wing and then on top of this I'm going to place cosmetic glitter. You cannot use ordinary glitter so don't try because if this gets in your eyes it can be very painful and damaging. With the liquidized bronze, create some dots just outside the wing and then with lash glue, start to apply rhinestones on the glitter as well as the wing. On the wing itself I prefer to put silver rhinestones because it creates a really beautiful contrast so on the silver you can apply something like a red or a blue or even a purple if you want. Apply a pair of false lashes, whichever kind you prefer, making sure that they're well attached even in the inner corner. Now taking the nail art brush again, I'm going to draw in some false lashes at the bottom Apply a silver rhinestone right at the end of the S shape we created at the beginning. And finally I'm going to attach a full swing right on the outer corner. And that's it, you're done!